Now, when you look back over your career, is there something that you think was the greatest contribution that you made? When, when I look back and, and, and take a look back, um, I think my involvement in the civil rights movement was one of my great accomplishments. The fact that someone can grow up like I grew up and, and come under the influence of uh, uh, Jim Lawson and some of my colleagues uh, in school like James Belvin and Bernard Lafayette and Diane Nash and Kelly Miller Smith, but also uh, come under the influence of Dr. King. And I, I, I feel more than lucky, but I feel very blessed uh, to get to know individuals, get to know individuals like you and others have made me a different person, a better person, and have forced me uh, to dig deep. Uh, I grew up very, very shy as a child. Uh, as a child, uh, as, a, as I said, they would accuse me from time to time of being nosy. I was inquisitive. I wanted to know. And I soaked all of that stuff in, and uh, I used it. Um, have you, have you ever thought, and I've thought this too, because I agreed that that period in early 1960 was the best time of my life. And the friends, the companions, just, I'll never repeat that again. That both of us are saying that the best thing for us happened when we were 20, 25 years old. And the years from then till now have not been as great or not been as encompassing and may never be. Is that kind of a disappointment? Well, it, I, I think to some degree, uh, it is somewhat disappointing to me that at a very early age and a young stage in your life that you can have these unbelievable mountaintop experiences. You can mm -hmm. go through, you see all of the change. Uh, I was talking with someone the other day, uh, been interviewed, I believe you have been interviewed by this group uh, during the biography of Harry Belafonte. Yes. And I talked about our trip to Africa. Mm -hmm, yes. The, the, the time that we spent there, it was very, in 1964, uh, but 1963, the summer of 1963 to March on Washington, 64, the Mississippi Summer Project, 65, Selma, these were mountaintop experiences. Mm -hmm. And they won't come along again. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so gratifying and so uplifted. Uh, and you have things happening from time to time today. but. Uh, it, you can't compare it. There's no way to compare going into the Oval Office, meeting with President Kennedy, mm -hmm. looking him straight in the eye in, in 1963 at the age of 23. But surely you've met many presidents since then. But it was not, not, it was not like being there. It's, today it's too much as, as, uh, as this and that. It's almost artificial, mm -hmm. almost pro forma. But it, it, we were meeting for something. It was a cause. It was great social upheaval uh, in 1963 in, in Birmingham, Alabama, and all across the South. You uh, know, there's a tape recording of Kennedy in the White House talking about SNCC, and he says, those SNCC people, they're sons of bitches, aren't they? <laughs> yes, and, and when, when, I, when I hear about that, mm. yeah, I'm surprised that he felt that way. <laughs> uh, I think he said it lovingly. Yeah, I, maybe nonviolently. <laughs> yes, yes.